I'm starting a new painting here, and honestly, it's one of my favorite um, parts of the whole process. Um, I've already textured this canvas. I've used a gel medium, so it's kind of hard to see it from here, but um, there is um, texture. It's, already, it's dry, and I'm working with a graphite pencil now, a Stapilo pencil. Um, just basically just getting over that fear of that blank canvas, just start making marks. I have so many different ways that I start paintings. It really doesn't matter. You can start however way. You could be gluing paper on. You can, um, you can start with color. I typically will start with um, black and white. Um, I've sprayed here. You can see some of the um, graphite starting to run. I love that. Um, starting in with some just black paint a brand new brush i've got there so i'm having fun with that it's not really soft and so many of my brushes i i i'm really hard on them so the bristles get kind of rough after a while but this is a, a brand new soft brush having fun with it that's a little azo yellow um that's a, a golden color and i i i love it i am Working here with black, azel yellow, and um, I, just so I believe is what I'm going to be using for fixing up a little gray. But there I am making another run. Um, I love doing that. And some of these will show through later on. I look at them as, as lines in the painting, and I help it to break up that area there. It doesn't really matter again, like I said, does it matter? This is just a real playful time. Um, a lot of experimenting going on. You will see me kind of walking away and taking a little time. I'm thinking about the next thing that I'm going to throw out there. And um, I decided on just the uh, um, paper here. I'm putting some paint on it. That's what I'm doing. And I'm going to place it on the canvas. And you can see textures coming through as I, as I rub that on the canvas. And I love texture. Um, that's one reason I, I've already put that gel medium on there. I love texture showing through in the end. So um, that's what I did again. I'm standing back, thinking there, one more spot. Boom. Using my brush, kind of making lines with that. And um, kind of defining there. Um, I've worked on this painting now a few more times after this, and that line that I just threw through, threw through there, drew through there, actually becomes a defining line later on um, as I break, as I start um, exploring and looking for the composition that actually helps. So. Here I am using some portrait pink. It's a Nova color, and I it was the next thing that popped in my head, and I thought, no, I won't use that. I'm I'm, I'm taping this. That's not that's not going to be right. And then I thought, no, you know, I'm going to just be real about this. This is what I do. Um, it came to my mind, so I'm putting it on there. It may not work. It may not look right, but. Um, Later on, it ends up being some of the paint that, that um, is just through some of the, the layers. I have been really working on trying to create this painting in my mind that is mostly just grays and yellows. And that is what this painting continues to be an exploration of. So... Um, adding a little bit more black, standing back, thinking, what am I going to do next? Oh, so using a, a roll of paper towels to pull back some of the, the paint on those runs, which I love the way it leaves that rawness in the canvas. And that's a hard one for me. Sometimes I just want to leave areas like that. Um, I, I love the contrast of that sort of uh, rawness with with uh, the painted canvas. So just continuing to add paint.